Bus stops like this one on the corner of H and 8th are already being monitored by police cameras. Now the plan is to add 30 more on just this strip. It was on this day 45 years ago when this part of the city was engulfed in flames after the assassination of MLK. Now the area has been transformed. Brand new buildings and homes popping up. But some are worried that the community is losing its character. Now the Nats lost 4-2 today to the Yankees, but still the fans leaving the stadium are in high spirits. After winning the NL East last season, their eyes are on the World Series. La selección de este Papa Argentino es un cambio gigantico y representa una transformación completa por la Iglesia. Este Papa es el primer de los Américas. Maryland drivers have been smiling for the cameras, the speeding cameras. And unlike D.C. drivers, they've been doing it over and over again. One Maryland woman got 66 speeding tickets in 2012. Now one quick look at the key bridge here at Georgetown and you can see that some massive changes need to be done. 18 million dollars has already been dedicated to the DDOT project which is due to be done in August of this year. Getting into GW buildings like this one is actually not that hard. While the first person needs to tap their card against a machine like this, those that come after could just walk right in. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Source. I'm Evan Kozlov. Coming up, the challenge of finding a place to study at Gelman now that finals are here. We'll introduce you to a talented musician and give you a sneak preview of GW's production of Cabaret. Thanks for joining us. The Lincoln Memorial, usually not something that gets involved in controversy, but earlier this month it did, after a Texas congressman parked next to a sign when he wasn't supposed to. It reads NPS Parking Only, short for National Park Services Parking Only. That means no cars allowed, even for congressmen. A $25 ticket given to Representative Louis Gomer after he parked his car on the curb by the Lincoln Memorial, issued to him by the D.C. Parks Police Department. Sergeant Paul Brooks said the area is reserved for just buses, taxis, and drop-offs for the handicapped. It parked in an area uh, reserved for MPS vehicles, National Park Service vehicles, and was issued a citation by one of our officers. Gomer denied comment to News 4, but told WMAL Radio that he had done it plenty of times before. He says that Park Services, in fact, gave him permission in the past. I, I was just shocked after uh, all these years now to find a, a parking ticket. So, so. Police reports said that Gomer was, quote, rude and irate, and that he even slammed the ticket on the police vehicle window along with his congressional business card. He just seemed upset that he was issued a parking ticket. Meanwhile, the congressman who was there to show his family the monument says that he acted exactly as is expected after receiving a ticket. I don't know if anybody is happy and gushing to get a parking ticket. <laughs> Gomert believes his congressional pass entitles him to park at that spot, but said he would pay if the park police requested. From Washington, this is Evan Kozlov, News 4. Valentine's Day, a day of love, but 14 people are celebrating with more than heart-shaped chocolates and flowers. They're getting married. It was a Valentine's Day to remember at the Superior Court. Fourteen couples, emotions running high. First up, Eric Brooks and Nicole McRae. I now pronounce you legally married. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> they met at a D.C. bus stop two years ago. As McRae's bus pulled up, Brooks asked her to wait for the next one. She said yes, and they've been together ever since. She and we just, met for each other. She just took me off my feet. Simple as that. Uh, they can't explain it no more than that. She just said, she just got me. Couples such as this one came from as far as Pennsylvania to get married. This is like the, the ultimate Valentine's Day gift for both of us, so we're extremely happy. Gay marriage is illegal in their home state, but they say that no law can hold back their love. It it's, shouldn't be about your sexuality, just like it shouldn't be about an individual's race. From the giving of the ring to the I do's at the end, okay. all of these Valentine couples cold. left today with an anniversary impossible to forget. Cupid shot in many different directions today, and he didn't discriminate. One of those hit was an elderly couple, 68 and 75 years old. From News 4, this is Evan Kozloff.